Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Um, today we have a beer sent to me from mybrewerytap.com and it's Thornbridge Jaipur. It's an Indian themed label going on on a beer and it's an Indian pale ale, 5.9% ABV. Here we go, just a plain bottle cap there. Get this beer straight open into a glass, see what the appearance is like, see what the pour is like, and best of all, let's see what it tastes like. Okay. Oh, it's coming out, no head at all. It's oh, it's got a little bit of carbonation going on. It looked to be very flat, but it, no, it has. It has got carbonation. Um, innovation, passion, and knowledge. We'll have a little couple of sips on this, and we will then read what's on the label of the bottle. Um, but first of all, the appearance is no head, golden in colour and just a bit of carbonation going on. The aroma, oh yes, classic pale ale smelling. I love my IPAs and my pale ales at the moment, they're really, really top draw. Here we go. Wow. That is bitter, that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Straight away the grapefruit on this is very good but it's very smooth all at the same time. Um, they've, they've copied the, the East Coast style IPA version from America. And on tasting American IPAs and tasting the pale ales and taste, now tasting the British style one, it's not bad. It's not bad. There's a lot of comparisons, good quality comparisons that, that go on. The grapefruit coming from the hop, the balance of the beer is very good. It goes down, it's quite smooth going down. Drinkability is very good. The best thing about these beers, I find, is that you can cool them down really well. With with that, it just gives it it just gives it that added edge over an ale at the moment for me. The fact that you can cool it right down. Slightly piney, but the citrus, the grapefruit, and slightly lemon citrus taste you get is absolutely mind blowing. This is a really good beer. Um, you can order this from mybrewerytap.com. Give them a look. They do a fabulous selection of beers from all around the world. But I'm going to read now on the bottle. Jalapur is brewed using both time-honoured and highly advanced techniques. The finest natural ingredients and our own creative brewing process. It reflects the love we have. We all have for great beer. Yes, we love beer. What really gets a brewer out of bed in the morning is the chance to create something new and share it with the, Ray, with the world. Ray Daniels. Now... What's happening in this country now is we're at the very, very beginning of this whole pale ale IPA culture. And I firmly believe it's now December 2010, week before Christmas. I firmly believe by, and I'm going to stick my neck out on this, 2012, maybe to late 2011, 
Britain is going to go crazy for these IPAs. You're going to see them everywhere. But at the moment, there's just a few. You've got the Brewdog IPA, this Jaipur Pale Ale. I mean, the Manchester Bitter I've reviewed. And um, Tesco's have, have just made their own IPA, but it's made by Brewdog. So I think they are, they are coming out, but I think there's going to be an explosion by 2012. I think everybody's going to be drinking it. That's my prediction. I hope so, because I love it. Um, I'm going to rate this beer now, and then I'm going to give out the website. This for me, they, they've tried the style, they've tried to emulate or imitate the style of the American IPA or the Pale Ale. I um, think to a lot of the extent they've done that. It's very tasty. It's very good. So on that basis, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go a seven out of ten. I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten for the real ale guy. Very good, it's very drinkable. Um, the percentage is good on 5.9. Um, it's very, very good, but it's not actually outstanding. Some, some of the, these, these IPAs and parallels, they completely knocked my socks off. Um, but this is very good all the same by Thornbridge. Their website is www.thornbridgebrewery.co.uk. So make sure to check them out as well, check out their website. It was, uh, it was probably, it didn't have, I was expecting more um, of a head from the beer. I was quite surprised it didn't have too much of a head, but we've got another beer coming up straight after this. And I think sometimes, to be fair to the brewery, these glasses need wearing in. I always find that if you have one or two beers, um, sorry, two or three beers after the first pint, then it generates more of a head. I think it... Sometimes a beer won't get ahead because of the dishwasher. If it's put in a dishwasher, I always find in a pub, a clean glass, sometimes it won't get ahead. So maybe, maybe it's that. So um, we'll give the brewery credit. That, that is a good beer. You have to try that one. Really well worth it. Um, if you want to get in contact with the Real Ale guys, you can... Twitter me at Real Ale Today. Email me realaleguide at googlemail.com. I've got a website www.therealaleguide.com. Not much going on there at the moment, mind. Facebook is Real Ale Guide. And Skype is Real Ale Guide. And basically, the main thing is to comment on, if you could comment on this video, tell me if you liked it, agree with me. Maybe you didn't agree with me. Let me know what you think. Um, but thanks for watching The Real Ale Guide, um, tune in for more reviews, subscribe to my channel and cheers.